Hello guys, welcome to the pedagogy section of my YouTube channel 8x8 LGBI. In this video, I'm going to share with you a snippet of the six trigonometric functions as it is explored in module A6. But before we get started, please subscribe to my YouTube channel 8x8 LGBI by clicking on the 8x8 logo on the right corner of your screen. Thank you. So let's get started. The six trigonometric ratios or functions is a subtopic of the right triangle trigonometry. And there are six trigonometric ratios or functions, namely sine, abbreviated as SIN, cosine, abbreviated as COS, tangent, abbreviated as TAN, cotangent, abbreviated as COT, second, abbreviated as SEC, and cosecant, abbreviated as CSC. Before we proceed into defining these six trigonometric ratios or functions, let us understand first the different parts of the right triangle as it is being used in the right triangle trigonometry with the six trigonometric ranges. So let us look at this diagram here. So we all know that a triangle or the right triangle for that matter has three sides. And in the right triangle trigonometry, we named these three sides as the opposite side, adjacent side, and hypotenuse. We know that the hypotenuse is the longest side of the right triangle, and the two sides are the legs of the right triangle. Now, how do we name these two legs? Actually, the name or names of the two legs depends on the position of the reference angle here, which is the fourth part of the right triangle trigonometry. If you have noticed here, the reference angle is at the base of the right triangle. And of course, the side opposite the reference angle is named as the opposite side. And of course, the side beside the reference angle is named adjacent side. So it would always follow like that. Okay? The sides are named based on the position of the reference angle. That being said, we can look at the other diagram here. See? The reference angle is up here. So therefore, the side opposite to that is the opposite side now, which was the adjacent side before when the when the reference angle was down here by the base and the opposite side before became the adjacent side now in this scenario or situation the hypotenuse is the same the hypotenuse doesn't change because that's always the longest side of the right triangle so I can emphasize this much that the name of the opposite side and, and, and the adjacent side depends on the position of the reference angle. So when you do solve problems involving right triangle and the six trigonometric ratios are functions, be sure you look at first where the reference angle is. Okay? So now let us define the six trigonometric ratios are functions based on these three sides. The sine is defined as the ratio between the opposite side over the hypotenuse. All right? And then the inverse of that is the cosecant which is the ratio of the hypotenuse over the opposite side. 
So these two functions are inverse of each other. See? Opposite, hypotenuse, hypotenuse, opposite. Cosine is defined as the ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And of course, the inverse function of that is the second function, which is defined as the hypotenuse over the adjacent side. See? Hypotenuse, adjacent, adjacent, hypotenuse. They are inverse of each other. Tangent, on the other hand, is defined as the opposite over the adjacent side and the inverse of tangent is cotangent which is defined as the ratio of the adjacent side over the opposite side so that's the relationship between these six trigonometric ratios and functions sine is the inverse of cosecant cosine is the inverse of second tangent is the inverse of cotangent so Part there you have it guys the definition of the six trigonometric functions as being used in the right triangle trigonometry please don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel 8x8 lgbi